Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of journal entries in QuickBooks Online. And journal entries are a powerful tool for adjusting your books, recording non-standard transactions, and ensuring your financial records are accurate. And this tutorial will cover everything you need to know about using journal entries effectively but before we dive in guys if you enjoy the videos that we have here on our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update to our future content now um journal entries are commonly used to make adjusting at the end of an accounting period say um in it includes recognizing accrued income expenses depreciation amortization and correcting errors now for non-cash transactions when you need to record uh such as that converting an owner's equity into common stock or transferring assets between different parts of the business journal entries are appropriate so we don't want to get too technical but for complex transactions that involves multiple accounts and financial categories Joel entries comes in handy. It allows you to record them accurately. And Joel entries are sometimes used to create reversing entries for certain transactions in the next accounting period. So this helps in ensuring that certain items like accruals um, are not duplicated in the following period. So whenever you're migrating from another accounting system to QuickBooks Online, you may need to enter historical financial data that doesn't fit. So journal entries is a good and effective way to, to simplify things. Now, if you are using the version that I have, you hover here in the new section and just go where it says journal entry at the other tab. It'll, so here you have a journal date. Might as well as use the, the date today and a journal number. And you have a plenty of options here from account, debits, credits, description, name, and tax. So when you click on the tax, it is giving you uh, the entries that you might want to uh, choose, choose, like accounts receivable, cash and equivalents, cost of sales, dividend disbursed, earnings and recent subsidiaries. How about we? go to bad debts so you are asked to enter some information here like debits credits and whatnot so and also it gives you the memo some information that you wanted to to put here to make it customizable and as i've said many many times on our past videos you can put supplemental information here like attaching a file but be mindful that it only allows 20 mb as a file size and save and send something's not right but supposedly it went successfully you've you've now created a journal entry and it's a handy feature for you know managing customer accounts and maintaining accurate records once again thank you for watching our videos if you find this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel for more QuickBooks and accounting tips. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comments below. I am reading all of them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Happy bookkeeping.